Imagine waking up from a long coma to hear, hey, there's a new Mustang. What? But it's a crossover? Oh, and it's all electric and can get to 60 miles an hour in three seconds and change? Oh, and it's actually really good. And you might be able to save like 12 grand off the sticker price of this thing thanks to Uncle Sam. Yeah, look, the future is the present and the present is a little bit weird. Anyhow, welcome back to Gearbox Pizza. We're gonna take a deep dive into this new electric beast in just a second, but before I start, allow me to swallow my pride just a little bit. Look, this is the part where I beg you to consider subscribing and not to get all awkward on you, but man, it would be really, really cool and mean a lot, so please consider it, and a big, big thanks either way. Okay, the Mustang Mach-E. You've probably seen these all over the place as they've kind of been out for a little while now, and. To sum it up, it's a fastback, all-electric crossover that's wrapped in a very Mustang-like set of body panels. Obviously, for die-hard Mustang guys, this was probably a tough pill to swallow, but at least Ford did this thing right, and like it or not, the future is electric, and people, especially here in the States, well, they're buying SUVs and crossovers like crazy. So yeah. It's a risk calling this thing a Mustang, but ultimately I think it's going to work out just fine for our pals up there in Detroit. Alright, let's get the specs out of the way before we drill down a bit and start building ours. You got the choice between two batteries, a 70 kilowatt hour battery or an extended range 91 kilowatt hour battery. Range wise, these are going to get you between 211 miles and 305 miles. Pretty solid. Not Tesla like crazy range, but easily good enough I think. I mean, unless you're that guy at the office, you know, the guy's up at 4 a.m. every day to make it to work by 9 and his insane commute is basically the only thing you've spoken to him about in the four years you've been working together. And it always ends with him lying to your face and saying things like, oh yeah, it's not that bad and you get used to it. Sure you do, Ted, sure you do. Power-wise, you can have one or two motors. A single motor over the rear axle or a motor over both giving you that all-wheel drive. Look, the fast one with two motors makes a combined 480 horsepower and get this, 634 pound-feet of torque. Yep, me gusta. This will be good enough to get that Mach-E to 60 in a very solid and respectable three and a half seconds. If that's more power than you need, you can scale that down a bit and roll with between 266 horsepower and 346 horsepower and between 317 and 428 pound-feet of torque. So Ford has made some changes to the 2022 Mach-E. Look, nothing crazy, but there's some good changes. They've opened up the battery so a little bit more of it can be used, resulting in just a little bit more range. Like, it's nothing too special, but hey, more range is more range, right? The California One trim can now be had with all-wheel drive, and it comes standard with heated seats and a heated steering wheel. And the GT model now comes standard with the black roof that I can dig. There's also this brand new special edition white they're calling, in drum roll, the Ice White Edition. And I'm not too sure about this. I mean, this thing in white to me just sort of looks like you're in town for the convention and you'll be returning this thing in at the airport early Monday morning with a mild hangover, but what do I know? The only other paint updates are that the Grabber Blue and Cyber Orange well, they are no longer exclusive just to the GT. All right, it's time. Let's build our Mach-E. So right off the bat, you gotta choose between four different trims. Ford calls the base trim Select, and this fella starts just under 43 grand, which is pretty great, actually. For reference, the base Model Y starts in like the low 50s, but yeah, I know, I know. You get way more range with the Tesla, but like, it's pretty cool that Ford offers the option to get into a Mach-E for under 45 grand. But we're not here for the base model. Next up is the premium trim. This will cost you another five grand or so, but you do get some cool stuff for that extra cheddar. Gone are those little 18s and now you're rolling with 19s. There's an all glass panoramic roof, Bang & Olufsen sound system among some other pretty nice options. Then there's this California Route 1 trim that's, I mean, that's cool if that's your thing, but look, we're here for the big boy, the GT. With the upcoming changes to the EV tax credit program, there's going to be up to $12,500 that you'll be able to shave off the sticker price here, which is great because this is not exactly cheap, but honestly, even without the tax credit, I think this is a pretty decent value. Anyway, let's, let's, let's go build it. Okay, so first thing, we have to choose between the extended range battery and the GT Performance Edition battery. 
Now, and I might just completely miss the mark on this one, and sorry if I do, but I just don't really get this. What don't you get? There doesn't really seem to be all that much of a difference between these. I mean, for the extra five grand, you get an extra like 34 pound feet of torque, and you actually get 10 miles less range. Now, you do get some other cool stuff like these nicer wheels, for example, but I mean, personally, we're gonna save that five grand here, but if you want the best, then you'll be picking this up. All right, time to pick some paint. So some good options here, most of which are offered at no additional cost, which is awesome. The red though is gonna cost you about 500 bucks and the orange or metallic white will cost you about $800. I don't know, maybe I'm just in that mood, but this grabber blue is kind of looking nice. I mean like almost like Porsche nice, but that might just be the heat talking. I think we'll go for it. All right, moving on to the interior and I hope you like black. Not all that much to say here. It's your only option and I think that's fine actually. Next up, we're gonna take a look at some packages and some options and I like how Ford has kept this pretty simple. I mean, you're not gonna need to spend like endless hours researching option after option and package after package. It's just, it's nice and easy. Check it out. You know, maybe Porsche could take a page out of this playbook and just simplify things a little bit, right? Anyway, for 1900 bucks, you get the option to pick up this Ford Copilot package thing that comes with like the Ford Blue Cruise and some other safety and autonomous features. Personally, I usually just turn all that crap off anyway, but hey, if you're into this stuff, go for it. But we're gonna pass on it for now. Next, we have this pretty sweet panoramic glass roof. I mean, it's 1500 bucks, but hey, I love that these all glass roofs are a thing now. I mean, I fell in love with this back in the late 90s with that 993 Targa. I mean, I thought it was awesome back then, and I still think it's awesome. And that's basically it as far as options and packages go. And this puts us at just a hair over 63 grand, which is, you know, it's in that Tesla Model Y performance territory. But because Ford still uses union labor, you should qualify for at least $12,000 off in tax rebates. And that's something Tesla just can't offer. So now I'd argue this is actually a pretty good value. It's just good to see some competition here for Tesla. The competition is good, and I think here the consumer wins. Are you 